Hi everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be trying a, another web effect, but instead of using three colors, I'm using five colors. Um, what I'm going to do is lay one of the colors down, which is this beautiful like scarlet that I made. And um, then I'm going to do a dirty cup on top of that. And hopefully I'll get some webbing, lacing, but who knows. So um, let me tell you the tip of the day or tip of the for this video. Whenever you have something and it's at the end, just cut it open. There's a lot of paint in there that you can scrape out. So um, just, just a tip. I just use this knife to do that. And who wants to waste paint, right? So I'm going to go ahead and flood this. Now usually when I do the web effect, my base coat is thinner than the other paints. This time I made it thicker than the other paints, just to see what will happen. So I'm going to go ahead and spread this beautiful scarlet color around. I'm going to save some of that for pouring around, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use a barbecue brush to get it going. I'm, this is a 12 by 24 canvas, and um, it's an old canvas that I had painted a long time ago, so it shouldn't matter. Okay, so this scarlet that I made is basically a Creative Inspirations Cadmium Orange Hue and I added some Artist Loft Red to it to get this color. Go ahead and get the sides. Now when I pour this on, so these are really easy to clean. I do this quite a bit, but if you're going to have negative space, your paint really does need to be thinner in order to, so it'll level out. But since I'm going over it with other paint, I'm not going to worry about it too much. So I just put it in a bucket of water and we're good to go. There's a gooby there. I didn't get that. Okay. There's actually too much paint on here, so. I'm going to take some of it, some of this, put it back in the cup, a little bit more. I'm going to do a pour around also. All right, that's cool. Let me spread that out over here. All right. So you can look at my previous videos where I did the web effect. I did a black, red, and silver, and then I did a turquoise, black, and gold. And they both turned out pretty cool. I did a triptych on the, on, uh, the black, red, and silver. They both turned out very different. So maybe this one will too. We'll see. All right, so now I'm going to do a dirty cup. So my colors are, I'm going to go ahead and start with the same color, but it's thicker in the cup. I'm going to start with that color first. That's probably all I need. Okay, then I'm going to go with the black. I'm only doing one layer dirty cup. I'm not doing multiple layers. Then I'm going to go with the gold. This is a um, artist loft gold, by the way, mixed with the artist loft old gold, and the black is mixed with artist loft black and craft smart black. This is more like a um, a matte finish, 
and it seems to help with the web effect, but you know, who knows, I'm still experimenting. This is a strawberry color that I made. Um, that's with the Basics Crimson. And then I put a little bit of highlight red. This is a um, sort of an interference, uh, uh, what is it? This is from T TKB Trading Company. And it's a powder, it's a pigment, and it's called Highlight Red. And I put, put a little copper on the top of that. A lot of paint, so I know this orange is going to be completely covered. And I'm going to do a little orange pour around too. So, all right, let's see what happens. Oh, by the way, this gold that I use right here, it did have one drop of silicone in it. It was a leftover paint. It's the only paint that had one drop. Um, so we'll see. I needed to use it before before too long. So let's see what happens here. I need room. <clears throat> so I'm going to pour down here. Then I'm going to pour back over it like that. Okay, a lot of paint. That's cool. That black is coming back through. That's that's what I wanted to see. That black and the artist love gold really react together. I'm just gonna wait just a minute. I'm gonna while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this around it because I'm hoping maybe I get some pearls by doing that. If if it's not going to give me pearls with the background, then at least maybe it'll give me some here. Okay, way too much paint, but whatever. It's fine. Okay. So, not getting much over here. I know there's some black under there. There wasn't much copper to begin with, so I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. These are sort of wild colors. Yes. Okay. I'm going to start tilting. Maybe you can see this. are different. Wow. My hands. So I got pearls coming up from underneath. I got some webbing. are coming up, webbing is all through here. I might get some, I don't know what's going to happen here, I just have some black coming up through the scarlet color, which is cool. All kinds of different stuff going on here.
All right, I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and then I will bring you closer and see if what else happens in the meantime. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, it has changed. Really cool. I had to turn a light off because the orange against the black was looking like yellow. So I think this is more of the true colors. Um, we got some lacing and webbing over here. Looks pretty cool. And then we got some lacing in the gold. Some pearls coming up. Then that strawberry color is really ir it just sparkles. We got webbing here with the orange pearls coming up. And then we got some gold over here with the orange coming up. It's cool. Very abstract. Sort of wow colors. I like it. If it changes, I'll put some pictures of the dried on the end of the video. Please like and subscribe. That's one way you can support me. Um, I appreciate you watching. Have a great night or day. Till next time. Bye.